Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and welcome to an unseasonably warm day in London. I'm literally so hot, I'm in this t-shirt like. <sighs> it's gonna be another episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls. So, my lovelies, we are swiftly speeding towards the season final of season two. Today, it is episode eight. It's actually episode seven, you silly cow. And I believe we've only got like, oh, hang on. No, we have like, <laughs> actually, we're only halfway through the season. We seem to have another six episodes to go. So we've got another six videos filmed with some of the most unhinged America's Next Top Model content. Isn't that great? Yes. I just love it. Weirdly enough, as I always say, I actually really enjoyed this show growing up and it holds a huge amount of nostalgia for me. I would say I still am, dare I say, a fan of America's Next Top Model. I just think that the show and some of the things that were happened on it were just so negative for like an entire generation of people. So am I a fan? No. Oh, I don't know if I want to have that existential crisis just yet. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly... I can't stand this. And a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network that encrypts all of your data between your devices and the internet. This keeps your personal data and information safe from big companies and cyber criminals. Surfshark VPN has the capability to swap your real location with a digital new location by changing your IP. And this is what allows you to virtually travel anywhere across the globe and get access to brilliant new content that you may have not been able to see before. As you know from my channel, I react to a lot of reality TV shows and a lot of them aren't always available on the services that you already pay for in your country. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers across 65 countries, allowing you to access and unlock content from libraries and streaming services all across the globe. For me, it's actually watching What Not To Wear UK. Daytime tweed with an evening chiffon. From Amazon Prime in Canada. Can you believe it? I don't know why it's there, but it is. And Surfshark VPN allows me to watch the whole thing. Now you know me and how much I absolutely love a scandal. So why don't you enter my promo code SCANDAL at checkout for Surfshark VPN and get 83% off your order and three months free. Surfshark VPN also offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So there is absolutely no risk in trying it out. Thank you Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video now. It's time for a scandal, girls. The top comment on the last episode is by Iris Black, and they say, Camille not wanting to share anything too personal during the acting class is totally okay with me. That acting class, that was something else. The more I think about actually what that acting class was is kind of unacceptable, actually. This is a TV show and they don't know what would make the final edit and she might not want to have her potential trauma broadcasted worldwide. I completely agree with that point. I think that you are under no obligation to share absolutely everything about yourself with a TV production company, just because they want ratings. Even if this was an actual class with no cameras and crew, she might feel timid or reserved to share her feelings with total strangers. Again, you are on the ball. I'm very glad that we only saw the girls crying and didn't hear any of what they had to say because it's none of our business. I agree, I absolutely agree. There is a very strange concept when it comes to reality TV, especially I feel like older reality TV shows is that it somehow feels like we are owed a negative storyline or like a trauma-based storyline in order to really see like character development throughout the series and how they've overcome their problems from their childhood due to like potentially winning a TV show. It's almost a level of arrogance that's totally unprecedented. But nevertheless, are you ready my loves? Grab yourself a snack, grab yourself a beverage, today I'm on the monster and let's watch America's Next Top Scandal Girls. I've called it that so much that actually saying America's Next Top Model doesn't sound right now. <laughs> Can the girls master their moves when they perform in the world debut of my first music oh, video? Oh no, a music video. So why, why is Tyra doing all that? Why is she doing a music video. Why is this happening? It's very. I coined it. I own it. Bitch. Who will be eliminated? Six in girls remain. Da, 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 da. Katie girls, she's gone. Camille's still here. Joanna's still here. janasha has gone. Who's gonna go next, girls? Oh, Heather went. Anna went. Shomara went. Sarah went. Uh, no, we still have Sarah. Bethany went. Mercedes is still here. Chandy is still here. April is still here. Who will be America's Next Top Boy Who? With Tyra Banks. 
there's a call. Oh. I'm not eliminated. I'm continuing on this journey. Well, Katie and Camille play step four. Ooh. There's definitely um, insecurity. Camille, congratulations. <gasps> it's oh. down to six girls, and it's Sarah, me, Joanna, Shandy, Camille, and April. Yes! Katie being eliminated just goes to show me that this tables can turn any time during this competition. I really- Was she, like, I don't know. Did the other contestants really feel like she could win? I never really got that vibe. I always thought that Katie was a bit too, like, not edgy enough to be, like, a top model in this concept. Because since she was in this show, everyone kept saying, I wish you'd punk it up a bit. Even I was a bit like, oh, she's very, like, perfect. And I feel like this show is not about perfection. It's about almost, like puppetry in a strange way. Oh, I don't, maybe we shouldn't have that conversation just yet. No. I thought that Katie had what it takes to be a top model. I've changed and I've made an effort to not talk over people. All I can do is be me. Yes. Be me 100%. Yes. So I remember reading a comment on one of my last videos that was something like, um, how are we giving Camille the benefit of the doubt when we're not giving anyone else the benefit of the doubt with the, we're, uh, in terms of editing and such? And it's because the editing here is moving so fast to make Camille out to be the villain. I feel like she has the most produced storyline. I think that's something we might all forget about reality TV is that each individual person will have a storyline producer. They have a producer that literally sits with them and navigates their storyline throughout the entire series. That's who's interviewing them in these talking heads section. It's a producer trying to coax these answers out. So yes, while other people may be getting certain edits. I always feel like the villain edit is the most interesting. It really tries to push this hateful idea onto a person. Whereas I don't really feel like Camille has done a lot of things to be hateful about. I mean, she did break an earring a couple of episodes ago. I would be upset if someone broke my earring. Is that enough to make her an entire villain for a series four though? I'm not sure. I've cracked the code, oh, girl. girl. She's got a degree. It's the skyline. Hello? Hello. Hi, baby. Oh. How are you doing? Good. Is this the one that she went I'm on a thievery dress. with? What'd you say? I'm wearing your dress. You mean the, um... The one that you bought me for my birthday? Yeah! The way she said, I'm wearing your dress, I thought, oh, cross dress is anonymous. Hello, whose pussy is this? You mean the, um... The one that you bought me for my birthday? Yay! Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend, Eric, and I have been dating almost two years. He is... Seriously, like my best friend. I love you. Oh, yeah, I love you too. Bye bye. I should call my boyfriend. Maybe I'll text him. As a child on the farm, I only ever dreamt of prawns. Lovely. <laughs> Ooh, very loud lady. It's Sarah's birthday, and uh, I think it's sad, you know, being away from your own home and not having a cake. Uh, Did yes. they get candles? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And plus, I wanted some cake too, so. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sarah! But it's a cake, Sarah. Oh. I've always taken the safe route. I've always quit the jobs that intimidated me. And even though I've been like that, my life kind of taken the safe way. I have so, so far, I have absolutely no idea the storyline of this episode. Weirdly enough, I kind of feel like in other episodes that we've seen, we can kind of, in the first, within the first like couple of minutes, you can really see the angle of the narrative that they're going for in that episode. So far, we've kind of had, it's Sarah's birthday and Camille has changed. Is this like a redemption middle of the series kind of arc of like, and everyone's getting along at this point until we shake them to death, death. Oh much strength in me and I and I think that's why I wanted this so badly because I know I can do it okay I would love to be America's next top model I don't think anybody wants this as badly as I do hmm. cross the road a yellow taxi sh Ooh. my dream is to be in indie European magazines What's an indie European magazine? Hello! I feel like in Europe, we kind of have the same fashion magazines as in America, maybe. Although I guess there are different ones. So in fact, actually what I've just said makes no sense whatsoever. Anyway. My dream is to be in working with designers, fashion. working with people in fashion. My dream is to be a child, like when the little girls were worried about why the boys weren't playing with them. I was worried about fashion. I really have a passion for this. This is something I've always wanted. Not the passion for fashion. 
passion for fashion. Black. Not the passion for fashion. I want it so bad, so I'm gonna make sure that uh, I like put that out in the universe. Okay, that's quite sweet. She's been quite likable in this episode so far. So oh, shaky zoom. To be an actress or a model, what would you choose? Like right now. I view modeling as acting. I view modeling as the base of acting. This is my first modeling experience ever. Ooh. I've been told by enough people that yes, you can be a model and I have to raise the bar on myself if I want to win this thing. And I think I can if I try really hard. I've never been in either situation, so I, I really, it's too early for me to say. How long have they been here so far? Six, so six weeks is what, three weeks? Six episodes is what, like three weeks, three or four weeks? So they would have been at this, doing this a month. And Joanna is like, are you gonna say model? Are you gonna say model? You should say model, because if you don't say model, what are you doing here? Stop it. It's almost as if, well, is it just the goal that she wants to win? Or is she really passionate about being America's Next Top Model? Because she doesn't give a damn about Joanna is saying like all Personally, the right things. Personally for me, things. if April were to win the competition, um, I would be devastated. So what's your goal right now? Wait, what? If April was to win, she'd be devastated. Personally, for me, if April were to win the competition, um, I would be devastated. So what's your goal right now? Huh. Devastated? Sure. We get tire mail and oh. it says that you guys are gonna need a lot of energy today. We walk into this um, building. It's a dance studio. <gasps> Dancing oh, at the model right game. <laughs> Shandy and she's like, oh god, like, oh, I hope it's not this. What's up, ladies? Yes, yeah, so far, Shandy doesn't strike me as like a dancer, so I guess we'll find out today, won't we, girls? No. Hi. Come on in. I'm Tony Michaels. I'm a choreographer. I work with JLo. I work with Celine Dion. I work with Jeez. Prince. I've worked with. It just goes, the list goes on and on. At first, walking in, I was like, how is dancing, you know, kind of go into modeling? Today, I'm here to teach you guys all about movement. Dancers and models, we have so much in common. Oh. Our bodies are our instruments. I've never actually taken any um, dancing classes. I may not do the best, but I know I'm gonna have fun with it. A oh. photographer and a designer, they do not want to book you guys for a job. And you guys come on the job and they have to tell you how to move and how to position yourselves and uh -huh. all that. That should come natural. Oh, oh crap. Oh, I don't know. I feel like there should be like a give and take between the model and the photographer and like the director, the creative director, who else is involved with the shoot of like, you should know some of your best angles, of course. But then also at the same time, things like fashion photographers will be like, oh, you need to pose like this and do this. And today we're going to be doing Balenciaga in a mud pit. Thank you very much. That's much better. Although this was almost 20 years ago. <gasps> Disgusting. I know my knee is a factor. I've had operations on my knee so oh, I can run no. it. I want each one of you guys to Immediately this is going to be a problem. Sexy. <gasps> Your first. Ooh. Oh. Very gyrations. Your eyes were completely on the floor. No matter what you did, your eyes were completely down. So I, I ain't getting that out of you. All of this, all of that, it was nothing without you looking up. Let everything move together. Come here. Oh. Camille? I don't know what she was trying to do, but it was interesting. Okay, Joanna. I don't know what Joanna was doing, but it was kind of interesting. Take your time. Take your time. She's Catch very the swift. Beat. Catch the beat. Joanna's dancing fits her character. It's like kooky and crazy and... <laughs> kooky and different. crazy. Shandy, she's like me when I dance. You don't think top model right off the bat, but about a second glance, you see, wow, she's got it. Oh. I'm surprised to see Shandy move so well because I'd never really seen her dance before. She's breaking her shell. It's kind of strange to just be like the only person dancing in a room and then have everyone watch you. <laughs> For me, that's kind of like the strangest thing ever. Oh, I could never be like, I know this is like quite an extreme example, but I could never be like a stripper being like, everybody look at me. No, I'd, no, no, it's not for me. Definitely not. Don't try to dance sexy, be sexy. I'm the male I feel like model. That, I feel like that sentence there is like the most key thing. I feel like that's all about modeling is like, don't try to be the model doing X, be the X. No. Don't try and fly up the wall, actually fly up the wall. Is it a B? I want you to work around me. You're first. 
Oh, here we go, girls. Dance the lady. Angel's drive, it Ooh. is a little intimidating. Just thinking that there's somebody else here that maybe could possibly want it more than me. The competition is heating we up. We had to like dance around him, use him as like if we were in a photo shoot. <gasps> All these girls are so gorgeous. Oh. Shandy! Oh, you are no say. Shandy is passing every test. Shandy is like that dork, nerdy type of girl. Maybe I'm actually nothing like Shandy at all when it comes to dancing, actually. Let me help you. But Shandy is doing the best. She's just flowing very naturally, like when you dance. Touching. Posing. Uh, 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 uh. Move with their eyes. I ain't seen nobody talk. Tyra talks with her eyes all the time. And tomorrow, Tyra, smizing. Come back, and I'm gonna test you on your ability to move. No, I don't think of myself as sexy. I was told repeatedly, you know, you're never gonna get married. You're just gonna be this old spinster with a bunch of cats. How can I think that I'm? I actually relate to Shandy quite a lot. So far in this episode, I'm relating to her probably the most. So I have a real thing about being seen as sexy. I remember in a video, gosh, it must be, I must have made this YouTube video 10 years ago, maybe just, maybe like nine years ago. And I remember explaining in this video, I think it was a makeup tutorial and it was something like, Be how to beige. <laughs> I've never done how to beige, but you know what I mean. You have no idea what I mean. I have a real like struggle with being seen as sexy because I don't feel very sexy in my like day to day life. And I almost feel like sexiness can be almost akin to like weakness. Oh my goodness, that we're having a therapy moment here on the Chanel. Maybe I shouldn't go any further than that. Maybe I should like address some of my issues. Desire and like sexuality in terms of like sensuality. I struggle to think that I'm sexy, struggle to be in that position, struggle to be in that head frame. Uh, stop it. So I can really sympathize with Shandy here that you just don't feel sexy. You got something? <laughs> when I get the package from my boyfriend, oh, cats! I have like a piece of home with me. I have a piece of my this boyfriend. This must be like. Oh, he did his face. He did so his important. face. Oh, that's good. That, that's so <laughs> there was something very similar that happened on. Oh my goodness, that's a, quite a terrifying photo. I was the world's first supermodel. Something similar to this happens on the Swan, where they get like a package from the family or a family video or like family photos to put on the wall or something to like keep you going in the competitive aspect. I feel like this is one of those things in reality TV that is almost purely just to gauge a reaction. You're like, who's really missing home the most? Who now wants it more than ever? Is she gonna make it to the final, girls? Why aren't you making it to the final? I just feel like really loved when I open it up. He said, like, are you going to be on a show called Who Wants to Hook Up with a Walgreen Employee? <laughs> oh, hang on. I just remembered what happens. Oh, no spoilers, though. Sarah, I'll give you a pep talk. What's Ooh, going on? The moon! He went out on me again and I had to get a heat pack. And uh -huh. To the point where I went. a doctor there to kind of watch? I didn't even ask for one. I was just like, I don't want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. How does it feel today? It's okay, it's just really sore. Oh, it's her knee. Oh, honey. This is the first time we're hearing of her knee, and she's been on this show for potentially about four weeks. So maybe she's mentioned it before, and production is like, cut it out because it's not relevant to the episode. That or is this a bit like, maybe I won't do well at the challenge because of my knee? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder how production is going to paint this. I wonder if Tyre at the end is going to be like, even though you faced consequences of your knees, you still used your knees, and for that, death! You're in the bottom two. My knee is always a discomfort. Oh. On a scale of one to ten, it's about a four. I just learned to live with it. Oh. It's just really hard. That's, that's rubbish. Skylines. We've seen so many skylines in this episode already. We're only eight minutes in and we've seen every skyline that America has to offer. I could not believe it. America's next top skyline. <laughs> my boyfriend. I do. I wish, I really wish he could have experienced Ooh. this with me, even though I know he wouldn't experience it the same way. Yes. It was a many seasons before they had boy models. Hello. Do you remember a girl named Lauren and... Oh, you hung out with some girls? They're uh, friends of Mike, but I knew Lauren and Megan about three years ago before I knew you. They're good people. And I'm going to go see a movie tonight. 
I'm going with Lauren because her husband works at AMC. He's like a general manager, so she's getting us free tickets. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Honey, she has a kid and a husband. Oh, so um, people never cheat on their husbands? No, they Even don't. They have kids? No, they don't. Yes, they do. You know... Oh, this is awkward, sis. This is awkward. No, they don't. Yes, they do. He's you know on the back foot already. I'm doing something with someone that is really important to me and you. I can't go to the movies now? No. I, I didn't. You. I didn't know that. You didn't say that. You didn't I say shouldn't have to say that. Oh, communication breakdown a little bit. They are young though as well. Young people in relationships often make mistakes. I know I have. Oh, tensions are high, girls. Oh, another skyline. What's this? Nine? <gasps> Fog, mist, taxis. My boyfriend um pretty much pissed me off. I hate you. I didn't know that. I hate you. Going to the movies, that's like our secret thing that we share. Oh. It really hurt when he said that. And I was just like, how could you do that? Oh. Like, I tried to remind... Oh, I see. So if it's a thing that they do together quite often. Yeah, that is a little bit of a break of trust, isn't it? That's a little bit of like, didn't you realize that this is as special as for me as it is for you? Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I must admit, though, communication is one of those things where sometimes guys just need to be told, like, this is a special thing. And I enjoy doing it with you because you're my special person. Sometimes guys do need that little bit of like upfront reality check like moment of clarity to be told that but also i do feel like you should that that kind of conversation should just naturally happen anyway being like i love it when we go to the movies together that's like i don't know that just feels really important i very much i sympathize with shandy here feeling a little bit like uncomfortable with that like i try to you can literally do anything else i'm in new york i'm gonna have a good time i don't care oh Ooh. discos the Forex. Me, Sarah, Camille, and Mercedes are going to a club tonight called The Show. Oh! Show us what it's all about. You're going to a club in a hoodie? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. So they've actually gone to a club with a camera crew there. This is almost like The Only Way is Essex, Geordie Shaw, or Jersey Shaw. This kind of like, oh, follow the celebrities to the club. What's going to happen? What's going where? Mary loves dick. It's very that, isn't it? Yes. Every time I go out, I don't expect anyone to talk to me. All of a sudden, there's Same. this boy sitting next to me, and he's like dancing. He says, I just want to let you know that you four girls are the hottest girls in here. And I'm like, oh, thank you. I That's think so he's nice. thinking with his dinkle. They hit it off, and it was just fun, because Shandy was like, it was nice to meet someone real, she said. They kept asking me, you know, do you have a phone number? Is there any way I can contact you? And I kept saying, no. <laughs> he just was like, he was really persistent. I don't even know what to think. I'm just like, okay. Oh, no is a full answer, sis. No is a full answer. This is, so dating in like the early, I mean, she's already spoken for, isn't she? Dating is kind of weird if you think about it. Like it's kind of weird because we're always told things like, no, no, if you don't want something, you say no. And then boys are always taught, oh, if she says no, it means you need to carry on and persist a little bit more. Oh, it's a really difficult conversation to have, isn't it? Because adults should be in full control of their own abilities to say what they like and what they don't like. Oh, it's difficult because I've learned a lot about myself by actually saying no to a few things and then being like, actually not pushing that boundary, but acknowledging that maybe I've shut down that boundary too early, so to speak. And then I've actually gone on to enjoy things that I've originally said no to. That is a personal thing on yourself to allow yourself to develop though. I don't think that is like for somebody else to decide how far they can push that boundary. So Shandy saying no here to that guy and him persisting, that's difficult, isn't it? That shouldn't be happening. She, she The fact that she said no, that should be like the full stop no, right? Right? Does anybody agree with me? Let me know in the comments. It was quite if my awesome. boyfriend, after, when he finds all this stuff out, if he has a doubt in his mind, then something's wrong with him in the relationship. But you've... What? No. Relationship. On his mind, then something's wrong with him in the relationship. But you've had the same doubts earlier, Shandy, on the phone, and nothing even happened. He didn't even talk to a girl in... 
Well, we don't know, actually. I suppose we don't know because that wasn't actually filmed. But she's expressed the same doubt there. That, well, she's expressed the same thought there that there's something wrong with him in the relationship if he has a doubt with anything that she tells him that happened that night. But that is exactly what she did on the phone earlier. In the relationship. Oh, I like Camille's red jacket there. That's nice. The moon! Oh, fashion so in ladies. the morning. Hey. Welcome back. Yesterday, I taught you guys all about movement. Your body and is they your all hung over. You need Severely to know everything unwell. about your body. You need to be comfortable with it. Today, you're going to be tested on it. When you get to do a runway show, that's choreography. Yes. When we first walked in today, I didn't get a good vibe. Before I started Ooh. the music, I went home and I, you know, I started thinking and I started going through each individual girl. And one thing that, 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 that kind of fell on me was that I had forgot all about April. <gasps> what about April? It didn't, just, it didn't stand out. Don't forget about April. She's amazing. Is this the April is forgetting about? The in, you've got to step up the game. Step your it's pussy like up. A hot knife and just jam it on into my heart. That is not good. Oh, That's no. the last thing I want to hear. Mm -hmm. Put two Forgettable. To three eight counts. Is there three anything? Eight. Is there anything worse? I mean, there are lots of things worse. Realistically, I'm just being hyperbolic. Hyperbole. Is there anything worse than being told in like a professional environment or a social environment that you are utterly forgettable? Is there anything worse? That is so like. Oh no. So be the girl that smears strawberries and cream all over the wall. No one can call you forgettable. Oh. Don't touch me. What? I'm going to teach it to you. You'll learn it. We'll practice it. Then you'll be tested on it. Right. And whoever does the best will get to hang out with two music celebrities. Ooh. Huge. One, sit in One the set. and there gout. Go. And three, three. and goiter. Pop the head up. Four. Okay, Sarah, put your weight. Look at my legs. Look at my legs. You got which which knee is bad? Okay, my knee. Oh no! Literally hurts. It's, it's killing me right now. Surely production would have known that she's had an injury, like a previous injury. If there's anything that we know that production are capable of, it's like looking into people's pasts or asking people very, very deep and upfront questions in order to get them almost like used for storylines on the show. Surely production will have known about her knee. So the idea that they still put her in for a dance class feels a little bit naughty to me. Oh, naught knee, some might say. Nobody's saying that, like, sorry, I get a grip. No, thank you. Six, seven, eight. Sit up, April. All right, here we go. Cross Competition starts. If I tap you, you're gonna lose this. I want you to come over here and stand in a line. Ooh. Everybody needs to step their game up. Five, six, seven, eight. Pow, boo, go on the game. Woman, dead. As soon as it was time for all of us to be out there, I just wanted to. What was Shandy doing there? time for all of us to be out oh. there. I just wanted to feel electric and I wanted to be electric, electric guitars to spark for him. They're all quite it's good, I guess. To me and she just oozes that, but it's more like a swimsuit type of model or a calendar type of model. Sarah. That's interesting that a choreographer has decided to comment on the type of model that a woman can be. I don't associate choreographers with, I don't know, expertise in the fashion industry. Maybe I'm wrong in assuming that, but I just feel like the idea of a choreographer being like, I think you're more of a swimsuit model is almost like, I don't know, a fireman saying to me, I think you're more of a physicist than a biochemist. I'm like, so? <laughs> Sarah, step up. Sarah, be so gone with you. Sick of it. I don't want to lose anyone. Oh, it's horrible doing bad at something, isn't it? Especially in a competition. Shandy's on the game. Today, Shandy allowed the frustration and the pressure of the competition to really get to her. Did she? Or is that a storyline produced by her? I'm annoyed at my boyfriend for going to the cinema, so I'm going to dance my titties off at the studio, girls. Wow. Crazy. You're crazy, girl. Did we just all listen to music that had beeps in back in this day and age? I can't remember. Was was beep in the charts? Number one in Bulgaria. My boot, Wellington boot, Wellington boot. Shandy, step off. The whole ball game is completely changed around. The best from the day before is like mediocre. Ooh. It's just like a complete turnaround. Mediocrity. Mercedes, step off. Forgettable mediocrity. <laughs> I have 
haven't shown Tony the best of my ability. I'm here to win. Look at who your competition is. Like, just do the damn thing. Is it going to be Camille versus Joanna? Again. It's coming down to the end, and I know that April, Camille, and myself were together. Um, I want to prove that I can stay focused and be real and um, really serious about now that we're getting closer to the end of the competition. I have a feeling that earlier in the season, we actually heard from April that she was a dancer. Have I remembered that correctly? I remember they did like a shoot in which they went like this, basically, in front of that guy. Was that this episode? Was that this season? I've watched so many episodes, I'm a bit like, what's happening? Ah, what's happening? Six, seven. Pow. Pussy. Pow. Pussy. This way over here, we're walking to the mirror, and there's gout. Step to the side. Tony I am not a dancer. I'm embarrassed that I wasn't still with the girls. You want to go? She can't seem to find a rhythm. Oh. Oh no, it's April no, versus Camille. We're down to two. Camille has really stepped up her game. She feels Stepped that her pussy up. Competition. April executed the routine amazingly. Who's gonna win? Is this a challenge? I didn't realize this. I thought this was just. Oh! April! <laughs> She's gone from forgettable to winning in the space of what? Like four minutes? <laughs> Gout. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> April won the challenge. She's most definitely surprise, a threat. Surprise, surprise. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, you get to pick two people to go with you. Have I missed something? Was there a challenge win here? That, that is this in, Was this introduced as a challenge and I have completely missed what we're doing this for? I, how have I done this? I'm a professional. How have I missed that? Ridiculous. Naughty mummy. Sarah and Chandy. Okay. Sarah and Chandy. So. Guess what? Guess who y'all going out with? You, and you, and you. Y'all going out with ODB. Oh. Are they doing another night out? And RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan. Oh my God. And y'all know ODB is oh, bananas. Oh my God. Bananas. I'm I don't, I'm not familiar. Thing, like, I, I mean, I have heard of the Wu-Tang Clan. I mean, who hasn't? They even had a video game out that was exceptionally violent and gory. <gasps> But again, we've seen a challenge which you win the opportunity to go socializing. It still feels a little bit minimal budget, even though the clearly the budget for this season is a lot higher than season one. We've had like aerial acrobatic television commercials. We've had a huge actual apartment instead of like an apartment hotel. We've got, clearly we've got budget, but for some reason they're still doing that win an opportunity to socialize with people, which doesn't feel like payment. Do you know what I mean? It feels kind of like promotion motion for the people that are they're going to socialize with it's almost like a business arrangement of like exposure like those kind of things that you do when you have to build your start building up your career and you don't do work for money you're kind of like i just do it for exposure this this it feels like an exposure win it doesn't feel like a real legitimate challenge you know what i mean no in the previous episode we watched them win a shopping spree so this time they're like and go out with your girl. I don't know, it just feels like a very unbalanced prize. Didn't do well in the competition today, that my time would be up. Now that I won that competition. Yeah, she's gone from like zero to 100. My fear's a little bit subsided. So if she's won the challenge, does that I'm mean she's unlikely to be in the box? <gasps> what? My impression of April is this. Oh. She is she being constipated. a bit bitter? Hold on. Well, that's because she's very binding. April overanalyzes stuff. Like, that's one thing that really annoys Relatable. me about the girl. She just is so overanalytical. See, I I want to convey some, like, a tone. Especially because I need all the opportunities to convey some kind of personality that I can. <laughs> you know? That's not overanalytical. That's sensible options in a competition. To be able to say something like, I want to convey a specific tone for the image I'm going to get because I don't have a lot of opportunities to do so. That isn't overanalyzing a situation. That is the correct amount of analyzing for a situation such as this. That is so clever. Like if they see it in a photograph. People, the judges said that you actually did. I really, um, the way that Joanna is coming across as 
almost like a favorite, almost like doing really well. She's really sweet. Everyone seems to like her. But actually, I'm kind of getting the feeling from my own personal experience that Joanna is like the villain in this case. I feel like Joanna is actually the villain of the season because she hasn't been very nice to people. I think there's a difference between having people edited in a certain way and actually saying those things that then people can edit however they want. It's kind of like Camille has not really said anything bad about someone. She's just kind of decided to remove herself from situations. Joanna there has just done an impersonation of someone and is now going to say that she's overanalyzing the situation and that's a bad negative thing. That's not editing making that up. That actually, we've watched that happen. That's what she's said. Maybe the tone has been changed, but she's just, she has said it. The judges said that you actually did excellent. Yeah, but that doesn't really count because sometimes people who really do really well are actually asked to leave and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I understand it's a stressful situation though, but that's very mean, girls. Well, I have something I gotta tell you. And another boy dance with me. Did he touch your butt? He touched my hip, but no, I just wanted to tell you that. No, no, whatever, because this is just dripping with hypocrisy. But I would feel really if I didn't call him. I'm sorry, I just would because. Okay, then call him and say, you know, I have a boy. For you, you obviously told him that. No, I didn't. <gasps> Hello? Oh, the moon! Okay, that is exactly what I said. There is a level of hypocrisy happening there with Shandy. I mean, these people are young, and I have to remember that, that, like, mistakes in relationships often happen when you're young. But I do also feel like if someone was dancing with me, no matter what, my, even when I was, like, 22 and in a relationship, if someone was dancing or tried to dance with me in a club, I would still be like... I have a boyfriend, like, get off, leave me alone. No. No, thank you. And I absolutely would do that now. The same, 10 years later. So that's, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm giving Shandy a bit too much of the benefit of the doubt here. Oh, but then again, I suppose in America as well, though, you're only really allowed to be an adult from 21, which is kind of, it kind of allows you a couple more years to mature into your, like, going out adult phase in the UK. Because there are things that we can do from 18 in the UK that you can't do in America. And I'm pretty sure it's not only just related to drinking, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. I have not been to America yet in my career. He hang up on her, though. April won the dance-off. And the dance off, the lip Sarah. sync. We're gonna go have dinner with the old dirty bastard, dinner. RZA and Kinetic from the Wu Tang Clan. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Attitude, yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. She's got gout. Yeah. Right here, April. Nice well done on winning, <laughs> April. Who's your friends? Who's the friends? This is Mercedes. Hi. Mercedes. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. 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 Nice I know um, tonight I'm just gonna have like the greatest time because I like to talk to people. I like to meet new people. My boyfriend, Eric, I don't know how he's gonna take it. Well, I mean, it's part of the modeling lifestyle is you will end up meeting and talking to new people, probably new people every single day. So I remember reading a Reddit thread years ago about a model's experiences like working overseas. I think she was American, but she actually explained that modeling is a very lonely job. You go to countries, go to the hotel, go to the shoot the next day, meet brand new people, people doing your makeup doing your hair maybe even a photographer that you've never met before and then you go back to your hotel and back to the airport and fly somewhere new and do the same again so you don't necessarily always make friends along the way and maybe you don't necessarily see all those friends that you've made along the way unless you're going to international like events which bring people together for example fashion weeks so the idea that shandy's boyfriend might have a problem with shandy meeting and talking to new people is kind of obscene in the modeling industry because you're very unlikely to be hanging around with the same people or working with the same people constantly. It's not like the same relationship as like a celebrity and their makeup artist or a celebrity and their styling team. It's not that same kind of dynamic. I do get the feeling though that we're going to see some drama. It's a scandal, girls. A Hummer limo. A Hummer limo. I've never actually been in a limousine. Not in my life. Pimped out as hell. Oh my God. I rode wow. in a Hummer limo. With ODB. You had a boyfriend, that was good. These outfits. Don't you know that a boyfriend, is, that's a natural habitat for us to have? <laughs> you know what? 
You know that a boyfriend, that's a natural habitat for us to have. A boyfriend is a natural you habitat. You're the first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, oh. hot in here? Yeah. It is good. Turn the color on the air conditioner, man. I like the hot. The, the heat make the woman sweat. <laughs> the audio is terrible still. We all he likes sweaty women. Really nice. Each girl had a man. I had kinetic. We have our own little room. This is a model special <laughs> middle <laughs> here. <laughs> we have one, one calorie, zero gram of fat. Those boys are silly. Silly, silly, silly. You got ODB in the corner saying, I don't even know what he's saying. Get back! Get back, I got the check! You want to shoot me? All right, man, yo, man, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> But it's funny, whatever it is. But the person I like hit it off with, like immediately, was Kinetic. He's only like 23 years old. What kind of guys you like? Oh, so around the same age. Kind of artsy, artsy, artsy guys. Artsy. <laughs> Shandy and him were getting along very well. Oh. Kinetic. Me and him, just, we just clicked. And Kinetic's like, he just puts his arm around me. He brings me to him. He's like, oh, you're cold. He's like, here, come here, we'll cuddle. So we cuddled, it was so sweet. But you're sweet. in a you're you're in a Hummer. You could like put some heating on or something. Like you don't necessarily. Okay, no, I feel like this is this is because cheating doesn't start with um like intercourse. Cheating starts with texts. Nowadays it starts with texts, but it actually starts with like conversations, eye contact, delicate like touching. It starts there. It doesn't start with like the end result. Oh. Not good vibes here, girls. No. The moon. They love it. what we've had like 19 shots of the moon, 48 skylines. Gotta do more than just pose and strut the runway. So come on and shake your body my way. Wait a Tyra second. Is this move your body, body, shake your body, body? Seven o'clock to shake our bodies. I remember this wow, song. No, it just keeps on getting better. This is great. Morning. Another 14 oh. skylines. So Jay's here. Learned, learned look at the amount of potato starch in that collar. Is not just standing in front of a camera and striking a pose. More potato starch than five guys. It's about moving and movement, right? And we'll the be flowing. styling you in hardtail forever clothing. Hardtail forever. That was an overlaid sentence. Girls some big news. Today you will be dancing in a music video. And the best part is the video is for the debut single from our very own Tyra Banks. Ooh. I'm just so happy to be a part of this because we had no idea. We had no idea. Tyra is doing everything. Tyra, will you come outside? Oh, yeah. Y'all are going to do my first song, hey? Everybody knows me as a model. I mean, that's what I've been doing for a really long time. Mm. But now I'm moving into the world of a recording artist. And I'm nervous. I really am. You ready for a long... That was an interesting little segment there. Interesting. I love the kind of fact that they're sort of playing Tyra off as this, like, she doesn't really have anything to do with the show. She just kind of, like, comes in and does stuff and then leaves again. But, like, she's an executive producer. So the idea that she's like, I'm nervous, I'm moving into a new industry. And it's like, but this is all fabricated for this show. You ready for a long day? Yeah. A yeah. real day? A, a real long film day. Shoot? Do you know what? Do you know what I would... Ugh. I can't imagine coming to set and then someone being like, are you ready for a long day? You're going to be tired. I'm like, wow, thank you for bringing the energy up, sis. Moving images. Nowhere to hide. It's really important for the girls to know how to move, to be conscious of their body. So let's get ready. See ya. This is a good challenge, though. Again, the challenges have kind of been a lot better than the last seasons. This challenge, learning how to move and what you can do with your body and how it looks good on camera in certain angles and poses is actually kind of like 90% of modeling, if you think about it. Oh, jiggles. I'm Jazz. This is Tyra's video. This is crazy. Whatever happens, I was in Tyra's video. That's so, true. That's cool. I love it. Forever. Ed Hardy? Hairography. Goiter. This song's going to be copyright. She acts, she models, she dances. It's crazy watching That her. hair is gorgeous. I knew it's this song. 
we're gonna walk down the runway and you know do our poses and I already got a couple down like <laughs> doing something like that but um I'm really excited oh she, you can bro. genuinely tell us oh April um I'm really excited oh is there anything more beautiful than April wearing a black halter neck plunge dress? A vision. Oh, I love it so much. Dark hair and a dark v-neck line. Ah, oh, stunning. Playback. If I was a lesbian. Oh, did she miss a cue? I've got to work like I want it. That's what I'm going to tell myself when I go out there today. If I don't give it my all, I'm out of here. April tried to knock Joanna out, and Joanna's just serving up like a true top model. Knock her off! Yes! In the bin! What just happened? I'm pissed. I was really upset that she did that. She should never touch me. Oh. I gotta step it up. That's that's the reality. So it's not a dance challenge, it's actually a runway challenge. Or maybe it's a bit of both, I guess, because they are technically in a music video. Oh, yes. Oh, asymmetric. This, th I could have made this fashion show. Anything in black, I'm always like, yes, you all look amazing. Bracing. Black is so all of us are just a little worried. It's down to six now. You have to turn it on Ooh. when they ask you. A little it's slutty a outfit. Party, all right? no and yeah, listen, everyone's going to take their turn to bust a move. Oh, a dancing moment. And, and you have that one moment to shine. I want to get One moment to shine. No reshoots. back at the party, I'm going to be tired on this. Singing has been a passion of mine for a long time. For six years, on the down low, I'd be ducking in and out of studios, cutting tracks. If you're not ready to show the world what you're doing, don't say nothing. But now I'm ready. Right. That's actually good advice. That's really good advice. If you're not ready to show the world what you're doing, then don't. I quite like that because there is almost like a, a danger of if you say to like the public what you're up to or something, it releases a dopamine response in your brain that can kind of trigger your body into thinking, I've already done that because I've said it about it. I've spoken about it on a public scale. Like, no, keep your projects to yourself, work on them really well, and then have a gorgeous launch party. That was a really weird thing for me to go. A business, business with Luxaria. It's fashion. <laughs> God, Bob, don't look at me. Oh my goodness. Shake your body, girl. I love all the black. You got your dancers, you got everybody watching, you got the director. So it's like, you know, hit or miss. This is the only time. Oh, she's got gorgeous hair. I love that curl. Love the curl. Crazy. Fashion. I can't be messing up. Back, Five, Shake your six, body. Seven, eight. Woo! Oh, a Sarah, I feel like she's thinking a little bit too much. I'm not just letting it happen. I kind of messed up twice, so I was just kind of like, oh crap, and kind of walked back to my place. And what can I do, you know? Oh, I love a fence. I'm really tight. impressed with Camille today. It's just she just has a presence. She does. Breast stroke. <laughs> you wanted to fall flat on the floor. <laughs> Oh no! I couldn't remember my choreography, and it's just really frustrating. In the end, what tripped me up is not finding the right beat or the count to the music. Oh, how embarrassing! Utterly embarrassing, girls. Yes. Well, I do kind of feel for Joanna there because actually fucking up in a situation like this can kind of make you go like, "Oh no!" You'll be beating yourself up about it for days, possibly forever, because this is TV, and TV is forever. Naughty mummy. Ooh, red. I'm feeling okay. You screwed Ooh, up. Oh, a girl. leg warmer. Yep, you did, but you know what? You keep on. Stilettos and a leg warmer. That's very early 2000s fashion. Daytime tweed with an evening leg warmer. Oh, go, April, go. For once in my life, I can honestly say this competition is not just about winning for Ooh. me. It's honestly something Was that, that a little fall? really desires. Is that a little fall over? Ooh. I see. 
It went awesome. I had so much fun. This does not feel like a job to me at all. Unprovoked. Are we at elimination Tomorrow already? We with the judges, <gasps> only five of you will continue on. Oh, only five! America's next top model. One of you will be America's Ooh. next top goiter girls. This elimination is probably the one I'm dreading the most. I'm nervous. Another skyline. Gorgeous. The night. I wonder if we'll see the moon again. Oh my god, I want this more than any of these girls up here. I know for a fact I want this more than any of these girls up here. If I come in here thinking that I'm going... Was Has, has her knee storyline finished now? Are we not worried about her knee anymore? Is that is that where we are now at, in the episode? Yes! If I come in here thinking that I'm going home and doubting myself, then it's over. I've already lost. I really don't know what's going on this week. It's always something new that it's getting thrown at us. So we have to definitely be multidimensional as top models. Yes. There's only three weeks left. I'm working my hardest. There's only three weeks left. still not enough. No. April is so afraid of losing that it really looks like she's making herself sick. She's so overanalyzing every little detail. Now that is what overanalyzing looks like. Overanalyzing is almost like, it's almost quite detrimental to your mental space. I know this, I've been April in this situation. I've been sobbing on a, well, maybe not quite a hateful sofa, just quite like that. Ikea, the wonderful. Ah! but definitely been sobbing on a chair on the phone going, I just can't stop thinking about doing this thing. I need to do so well. Me in my degree was absolutely this. I, I often hate the phrase, oh, I'm a perfectionist. I feel like this phrase is thrown around quite a lot. It's the same with people who say something like, um, oh, I've, I'm just really OCD. It's like, no, actually, if you actually had OCD, it's not something to take lightly and make like a soft joke about because it's actually debilitating. I'm not about to say that being a perfectionist is as debilitating as having obsessive compulsive disorder, but being a perfectionist is in a way a very difficult problem to have. I would call myself a perfectionist and it actually is quite detrimental because I get to the point where I'm like, if it can't be perfect, I'm not going to do it. And if I try something and it's not perfect, I will obsessively think about it until I can either make it perfect or I just beat myself up about it so much that I move on to a different project. Perfection is the enemy of good. To do well at something, you can actually just do good. You can do perfectly good at something. You don't have to be perfect because there is no such thing as perfect. And the pursuit of perfection is what causes emotions like we're seeing April here. And I can relate. How many of you can relate to this? And I can't even say, well, whatever. I didn't care anymore. Also the stress of a competition. To win because it's not true anymore. Like, this is my dream now. It's my passion. I want it so bad. It like, it would, it would oh, hurt so much to get this close. The yellow pages. I see it and almost touch it and then have the door slammed in my face. Scary. Are we gonna see the moon? Another skyline! <gasps> Tyra, oh, that was fierce makeup. Oh my goodness, Bazooms. Right, here we go, girls, judging. Who do we think is going? Who do we think is in the bottom? Who do we think is going? Not every single person has had a bad edit in this episode. I feel like Joanna might be in the bottom because she had that wobble and fall over. Maybe Sarah, because they had the knee storyline, but like, she didn't do bad. And April won the challenge, so April's not going to be in the bottom, surely. Maybe even April might win? They didn't have a photo shoot this week, did they? So what are they going to choose for, like, best picture, I wonder? Back rolls. Hello, everybody. Hi. I don't know who's going. So you guys had a whirlwind of a week, I know. You got to see how it's so important to move and to move well. Move your be body, model. body oil. You have to remember we're evaluating you on everything. Yes. Not just your performance in the video this week, but on your overall look, skill, and potential to be a top model. On your overall look. But now look. it's time to make our seventh cut towards determining who will become a I have no idea. Model. All right, among the prizes that the winner will receive is a contract with IMG Models, Ing. Fashion Spread, and Jane Magazine. Janet. And a cosmetics campaign with Sephora. Sephora. So we have our panel of judges. The first oh, here we, we go. have Miss Janice Dickinson, one of the first supermodels of the world. And the queen of movement. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Nicholson. Eric sure. is the senior fashion editor of Jane Magazine. Janet. Mr. Nigel Barker. Nigel, Nigel Barker. a noted fashion photographer. Oh. Over here, Mr. Tony Michaels, who's my choreographer. Oh. I had to work with you guys and show you the moves this Yes, week. very good. So oh, I like that leather jacket. Do your individual evaluations. Oh, I like her makeup. Selected names and Shandy, you're first. Right. All right, Shandy. 
So you had to shake your thing in my video, and that's what you're being judged on by the choreography that Tony Michaels taught you. Yes. Here is your part. Oh. I oh, I see. I don't think anybody would ever think that Shandy's got that much soul. Oh, it was very leggy. Very You're leggy. And I was just like, oh my God, she is doing this. I actually found you today, just right now. It was the sexiest I found you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Nigel. I used to have the biggest crush on Nigel. I was like, yes, take photos of me, Nigel. Camille? I feel like you have a lot of fire inside of you, but it's like you were holding back. Like, I see it there, and I'm like, just take it. You know, but you like go, uh. You didn't give any kind of, like, heat. Thank you. Thank you, Janice, for that very poignant observation. I own it, bitch. Oh. Is this the knee moment? You look good, but then you just sort of didn't yeah, know what song you were dancing to. Oh, it might be Camille and Joanna. A bad music video backup dancer and like a belly dancer at a Greek restaurant. You never just committed to, I'm gonna stay through the whole thing. Janice, what are you talking about? What you want about Janice? Sadie's. I like the red. Red is really nice to her. When I was there, I saw... Red is really nice for her. She's got a degree. Do you ever just, like, clock into what you're talking about? Or, or like, hear yourself speak and you're like, what are you talking about? What do you mean by that? Ikea, the wonderful... Marlin. When I was there, I saw you grooving, but I was like, what happened to the step? Well, I, I went to go into it, and I'm like, oh, crap, what comes next? So I'm like, you know what? Play it oh, off, go forgetful. all the way through. So I did. If that, you know, someone's really asking you to do the choreography, you want to complete it, find some way to complete it before that music stops. Stop the talking the time that I'll show you. Tippity pop, lippy boo boo. I've got boy time scouting. I keep thinking those Ooh. movements look like you you have an upset stomach. Uh, you look like you you know you need to go to the emergency room. You needed more soul. It was almost too clinical. That was that was strong. That you remembered all the choreography. The choreographer's like, that's beautiful. You remembered everything that I told you. That was amazing. And Janice is like, you need you need to go into the hospital, girls. What planet is Janice on? Unhinged. Rocket number nine. That was that was strong. That you remembered all the choreography. They're really gunning for April to like go, aren't they? Even though she's doing the best. Joanna has a little tumble. Oh, wiggly wiggly. Have a little go. Off she goes onto the floor. What the hell was that? You look like a 1920s flapper there, like flapping. I always told you to take your time, find the Did flappers flap? I thought it was the way the dress moved. I didn't realise that flappers were like actually doing this. I don't think they were, Janice. They're like flapping. I always told you to take your time, find the rhythm. You didn't take your time there, and so the, you lost all of what, you know, you learned. They at were, least like, she knows. Really off beat. Then I looked at the dancers in the background, and they were doing this and threw all over the place. Yeah. You're lacking the sex appeal. You're gorgeous. You've got a beautiful face, but I want you need to ooze a little bit more. Okay, Joanna. Thanks. I want you to ooze. Oh, Nigel. I've got a package of peace, sweetie. Don't talk about oozing. Right. All right, you guys, here are some photos that we here took we go. of the video. Mercedes, when she was doing her, her hoochie dance, she has capital IT, this girl. Mercedes is definitely in. Okay. Joanna, I was staring at her because she kept throwing her arms up as opposed to the hip-hop thing. Joanna fell flat on her booty. Jo Joanna's beautiful. She's fierce, her eyes are strong. You know, for me, when it comes to anything actually in motion, it didn't really work for me. I'm afraid for me, you are not. Not everyone out. is a dancer, Sarah. though. I didn't see any dance movement. I just saw, you know, belly dancing stripper. I think that Sarah is the only girl here that has that super top model look. She can stand right next to me and Heidi and a Victoria's Secret ad, all of us, and fit right in. Sarah, for me, I think just... Is what is Janice talking about? Janice is so mean on this show. Sarah, for me, I think just is starting, I'm starting to feel that she could be going way down market, like the the beer commercials. April. So Tyra's like, she can stand next to me in Victoria's Secret and everyone else is like, she's naff, she's a has-been, she's only been doing it for eight minutes and she's already gone, death. April. Every challenge that I gave her, she cleaned it right up. But the problem for me with, with April is that, you know, she's clinical. She's like a technician. I want to see technician. some more sex appeal. April is the one that wants it the most. Yes. Well, they all want it. I think that she, they all want it in a different way. Maybe she has the drive. 
I want to see an Asian girl win this competition because she is commercial, she is exotic. Camille. She was sexy, Hateful she danced word. well, she did a great job. No she attitude. didn't have an attitude, but is and that an smiled. act? Maybe. Is that an act? Maybe, but she's learning Maybe now. it's like Maybe a it's... multiple personality, like, you know, Jekyll and Hyde. Shandy, she's fascinating, she has a face for... Well, Janice isn't going to make it to the pageant, is she? Only one will make it to the pageant, girls! Shandy, she's fascinating. She has a face for now and a face for the future. She doesn't try hard. She's just, she's doing it. I couldn't right. take my eyes off her on this video. You go, girl! You go, girl! You go! She's in! <laughs> so who's going? April? They're really gunning for April, but I think she's done actually very well this I episode. Have six very okay. beautiful women standing in front of me. Bippity, beepity beep. But I only have five photos in my hands. These five photos will represent, represent the five of you that will still be in the running towards becoming America's America next top next scandal time. girls. The first name I'm going to call, Shandy. Oh. Shandy, you did the choreography in that video better than every single girl behind you combined. I was but cheering April you won. on like I was your mama, like your proud mama that was just like, there's my baby, I had no idea. Okay. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming America's I next I wouldn't top have picked mom. her first, but sure, she did well. Mercedes. Mercedes. Camille. Camille. Oh, You're April the should be there. Becoming America's next top model. Stop it. Ta the next name I'm going to call. <gasps> Thank goodness she's not in the bottom. Okay, so I didn't predict this at all. Oh, no, I did. I did. I said Joanna fell over and Sarah had a knee issue. So that is exactly where we've got. I knew it. The prophecy is true. Just We're call me sure Mystic Meg. you want this because you want to be a top model and you want to be in this fashion industry? <sighs> Sobbing. Or is it that you just want to win for the sake of winning? Congratulations. Surely they are one and the same in a modeling competition, no? Winning. Congratulations. You're still in the running, girls. Will Joanna and Sarah please step forward? Okay. Oh. Joanna. Ding. In the video, you were so all over the place and so unfocused. And sometimes you only get one chance. So when the director says action, you have to be ready. Her eyes look really Sarah, different there. Out of all the girls, you are the sexiest girl here, Sarah. Sexy but the lady. judges are starting to wonder, is your sexuality the type of sexuality that will only be good in the top men's magazines right now? Or is it a sexuality that transcends to women, where you can also be right at home in a fashion magazine? What does that this mean? This is the hardest week for me. And it's hard for me because I'm starting something new in my life. Something that I'm putting myself out there for the world to put me in the position that you all are in now. What? So who am I to stand here and tell you that you have to leave when I'm starting something where the whole world is going to be criticizing me? And I just want to thank you all for being part of my dream. I only have one picture in my Oh, house. I thought it was going to be a double save. And this picture represents the I know who's going. That continue on. And we'll still be in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Is there a twist? Joanna. Oh, 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 we knew it. We knew it. We knew it. That is a horrible dress. Oh no, who's sobbing like that? A wailing. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, that was difficult. That was tough. <laughs> this might be the most emotional my moment dream. yet. Like, you have no idea. This is my dream. And I'm so proud of myself. 
Oh, goodness. And things that I've never even imagined me doing in my life. Things I've been scared to do. Things that I had to break out of my shell to do. And this made me do that. I'm a bit this overwhelmed myself. This will not stop me from making my dream That's country. a really nice flower pot. Another skyline. And another one. Into the lake. And she fades away. Oh, is this, is this the music video? We're not going to watch the music video because I can't get the rights to it. That was incredibly emotional and I have some thoughts. So my lovelies, I have some thoughts about, oh my gosh, about today's episode. So during the opening section of this episode, we saw Sarah mention about her knee. And I think without that mention, that wasn't actually mentioned anywhere 